Hi. Hey, Hi. How are you today? Good hey, evening. how are you? Amazing. I'm good. I'm speaking to you from Toronto. I know you guys were here to talk about the show when it first kicked off, but now I get you when it's the season's ending. So here we go. Uh, Lee, I want to start with you because, first of all, to all of you, congratulations on the success of this series. My goodness, I don't think there's anybody who's not watching it. It is so much fun. You guys do such a great job. Leah, why do you think, other than the popularity of the books and you know, maybe kids knowing about it and stuff, why do you think we're connecting with it? Why are we loving it so much? Um, The book or the character? No, no, your series, your show. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like they have a good connection with it because it's not a book that sticks to a certain category age or just mm -hmm. like um anything yeah. like you know like um it doesn't stick to like oh yeah this book is only for one to twelve or from 15 to 25 like it's something that you can read from the youngest age to the oldest age you know like it's something that's still very interesting because it contains things that have stuff that is like an, uh, a coming of age but also mm -hmm. something that has been brought up from old age times so right. it's like oh yeah i remember when they did that back in the day or it's like oh yeah you know we're like TikTok nowadays and stuff like it's i mean i know it's not mentioned in there but like it's still like new stuff and old stuff and i feel like people are interested because it's not something that you have to sit with your kid and and right and like, oh, I have to watch and stuff mm -hmm. so it's um it's just it's really amazing about this show because also this show can go on for so long, you know, it's five seasons. So we're going to mm -hmm. be a yes. coming of age. Show. So right. yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Walker for you, um, you know, wow. Taking on this iconic character, you know, I, I was wondering for you do when you found out that you had booked the role, were you a little bit nervous because you had a lot to live up to? A hundred percent. I was definitely nervous, uh, especially with like, as like iconic as these characters already are yeah like i feel like there was definitely a lot of ways that we could have screwed it up but i don't think we did <laughs> oh no no uh, no <laughs> it's just it's it's hard because these characters are already so like iconic as them themselves that like there's no like perfect way to really bring them to life you know what i mean uh yeah. but i i think we got pretty close i hope so yeah no, no, you, you guys have all done it justice, no question. And Ariane, I want to ask you, um, when you are playing a character, again, that's, you know, people know and love and, and you know, established from a book, is it important to you to kind of go back and read the, the source material? Or do you just kind of say, you know what, I want to read just the scripts and kind of make them my own? How do you do that? Um, well, I, I definitely read through all the books. I, I was a huge fan of the books before I even knew that they were making a show. But the night before uh, I went into the chemistry read, we booked a hotel that was like in Los Angeles, so we didn't have to drive. And my mom walked in with like a new box set of the first five books. And I read them all in that night, like before the chemistry read. Oh. Um, and it, it's kind of like a mix because you don't want to just copy it word for word. Um, but you also want to, you know, stay truthful to the books. And I think, you know, like you said, there's so much, there's so many resources. There's like a wealth of knowledge about Percy Jackson. So I took something, I tried to take something from everything I could, like the books, the movies, even um, Brandon T. Jackson was like great as Grover. And so, yeah, yeah I don't know. I, it's kind of a mix between them both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I can't believe you read them all the night before. You must have been pretty tired that next morning. <laughs> I, I had to take a test. Like the reason we were, we booked a hotel in LA was because I was taking an exam in LA. So I did the exam, went home, read the books, and then did the chemistry. So I was already wow. kind of in that that it locked aces in. Aces to you! Wow, you are a very ambitious young man. That's awesome, uh, Leah. For you, what what's been the most fun working on this <laughs> series? Like honestly, I, I can't imagine how much fun you guys have and the people that you get to work with, Leah. Yeah, it was really, really amazing. Um, I just, I can't get enough of how like nice everyone is. It's just, it's really amazing. Like, I'm not saying you would expect them to be mean or anything. It's just like, <laughs> like you wouldn't expect them to just be like, um, this like heartfelt person, like just like so warm and things. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, like I would always think that like actors on set, they're just like stay in their character 24 seven. Like, yeah. like I, cause I never really like, 
I never really like saw behind the scenes beforehand. Mm -hmm. So I just thought that like, you know, they're doing the part, then they say cut, they're just sitting there, just doing like this and stuff. But actually like, like you're having fun while even like filming the things. Like sometimes mm -hmm. like they've even had it in like some of the, um, some of the, the like scenes and stuff, yeah. like even like we'll be laughing at each other and it wasn't supposed to be laughing oh, yeah. and stuff. So yeah, like it's just fun how everyone can have fun on set, mm -hmm. especially yeah. when teenagers are working with other teenagers and, teenagers are working with other actors that we are big fans of. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah, and Walker, I want to ask you about that because there are some pretty legendary people playing, uh, you know, in this series, you know, what, what listen, you, you guys have all had opportunities to work with some great people already in your careers, my goodness. But when you have somebody like Lin-Manuel Miranda, I mean, the talent he has is endless. What's it like? Like, what do you guys learn, Walker? What do you learn from working with these legends? Uh, I mean, Lynn is amazing. He's exactly how you like think he would be yeah. in the best way possible. Uh, he can like make like songs up on the fly. Like you can give him like a like a topic of conversation, and he'll just yeah. like make like a rap or something. It's crazy. But I have to say, like the the scene I don't think I've talked about enough, or like the people mm -hmm. were uh, was that scene is a scene between uh, Zeus and Poseidon yeah. in the new episode coming out. Okay. Lance Reddick and Toby C. Their scene, I don't want to give anything away, but it was, it's just, it's, it's very subtle, but it's like amazing. That's, I think that's like, I feel like gods. Exactly. I want, like, that's what I kind of want to live up to acting wise. You yeah. know, they're very <laughs> great actors. Oh, man, you just gave me goosebumps. I can't wait. Okay, so Arian, just to wrap it up, what can, without giving too much more away, because that, that sounds amazing. What can fans expect from this final episode? What What are you excited about for us to see? Um, well, definitely that's that's a big one. Their kind of conclusion. Um, I'm definitely excited for non-book readers to see like if they're right, because I always see like um, like theories about who stole the lightning bolt and like who's going to betray Percy and what the final line of the prophecy means. So I'm excited for all of that to finally uh, come to a close, but also leave a few things open for hopefully more seasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, hopefully I am pretty, pretty confident that you guys are going to see more. And just really quickly, Walker, just to say, you know, if if we could get Ryan Reynolds in there, what do you think for an <laughs> upcoming season? What do you think? I think that would be amazing. Uh, I keep thinking about like roles like that he could do. Uh, I saw him as Blackjack. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't know. Tyson, Listen, you got a connection with the guy. <laughs> Give him a call. I'm sure he will come and, and work with you again. I, I, can't, I can't see that he wouldn't do it. He's a great Canadian. So what else can I say, right? Yeah, he is a great Canadian. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for your time. Uh, congratulations again on the success of this wonderful series and best of luck. Uh, I hope we'll be talking to you again for the next season. Fingers crossed. Thanks so much. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you okay, so guys, much. Take care. Bye-bye.